Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, is uh, doing okay. So tomorrow is uh, New Year's Eve, right? Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Um, really, really uh, light volume today. Uh, actually pretty scary. I'll, I'll talk about it in a second, but um, I think tomorrow, I, you know, I, I'll be here, you know, I'll definitely be here at Morning Strategy tomorrow. Uh, definitely be there in morning strategy. I'll, I'll be here for the first hour of the day because I want to see kind of how um, structure is playing out tomorrow. Not necessarily the directional bias, just the structure. Uh, the reason why I say that, uh, if you look at the pivots this morning, on the surface, they look, wow, well, they had some phenomenal, phenomenal pivots. Yeah, they were. The problem was the, the market structure was so damaged today. When I, what I mean by market structure, for example, if you look at the pivots there, right? If you look at the pivots and you look at them and you say, wow, this must have been a, just an absolute huge monster day. And if, if, if you know, you see Boeing, you know, Boeing got uh, hit really hard. You saw uh, Vago got hit. Um, RAD just got destroyed. Tesla, Tesla went, up, went down like 15 points. So it looks very good on paper, right? It looks really, really good. NVIDIA, you got Netflix and NVIDIA. And it looks great, right? It looks great on paper. But if, if you saw how um, how thin the market structure was today, it was very, very scary. Um, and after the first half hour, 40 minutes or so, I said, you know what? I'm going to just kind of sit on the side um, only because the spreads today were really, really wide at the open. I mean, extra, extra wide. Uh, the liquidity was completely not there. And the most amazing part is every single pivot that we were putting on gave really aggressive cash flow very, very fast. The problem was you couldn't get filled on any size. You couldn't get filled on any size. And if you didn't at least take some cash flow in one direction or the other very, very quickly, the market was so aggressive um, that it would just take it really, really, you know, right back, like really, really right back. So for example, um, for example, Netflix, right? I shorted Netflix and it goes down like 75, 80 cents. I'm talking about in two seconds, right? Literally in two seconds. And you, you realize you didn't get filled on any size. And the problem was it was so wide, so spready that, you know, I took a 70, 80 cent move, which and I thought was going to go more. And I turned it into like a dollar 40 loss, right? Just to give you an idea how fast they, they brought it right back and spread it back out. So we started seeing that on a lot of trades today over and over and over again, even the ones uh, even the ones that I caught, like, you know, for example, I caught a really good, um, a really good remount on RAD. And again, congratulations to all you guys who came in short RAD, got destroyed today. But just an example on RAD today, um, they took down the stock into daily support. It went through, it reclaimed, right? It remounted to 1850. So I got along in the 1840s. It went to like 1920s, like 1915s, 1920s, like in seconds. I'm talking about in seconds. You're talking about an $18 stock, you know, $18 stock moving 75 cents in a matter of 20 seconds. That's that's not normal. So it, it kind of freaked me out, right? It kind of freaked me out. And, you know, so I kind of just wanted to, to, to kind of put the money to the side and kind of put the uh, the trade into the side, at least for me, because it's just, again, I just wasn't comfortable. I, I, I didn't like the idea of Aggression, right? I like aggression. I just don't like aggression when you can't manage your risk and you can't put on their tier size that you're looking for the trade. So it's kind of it, it kind of make things irrelevant of watching, you know, Tesla go down three, four, five, six, seven dollars, and you you sit here and you can't get size. Uh, Netflix could go down three, four, five dollars again if you can't get those size. Again, what's the point of you know doing the trade? And again, it's the reality is well, some money is better than no money, but if they can snap back faster, faster than you, your, your mind can process exactly what's going on, that's not a fair advantage. Uh, so I think tomorrow, depending how, depending how the market kind of opens, how the futures are opening, um, you know, I, you know, I might take tomorrow off, but I'll, I'll definitely be there at morning strategy. Uh, I'll definitely guide you guys through morning strategy. 
Uh, I will be there at least for the first hour of the day. I want to see how the market structure is there. If everything is orderly, then it's a whole different story. If everything looks like it's going to be like today, like crazy widespreads and just whipsaw, uh, that's, that's a perfect way to really put on risk without validation of reward. And again, that's not what we want to do. Um, I, look, today the, the Dow went down 200, the NASDAQ went down. Does anybody really care? I mean, we, we talked about the scenario you know, last night on the video, the weekend update about a, a potential pull. Again, I didn't think the potential pull was going to come literally at the open. But when you look, for example, how aggressive these pulls were, you can see uh, what we talked about you know, yesterday in the video, you know, aggressive pulls in Tesla and Roku and Amazon and, and Shop and Netflix, like one by one, you know, beyond everything else. So it was very, very scary if you are a long shareholder, right? If you were uh, a buyer of the market and you said, ah, yeah, yeah, the, the weekend video grant. Yeah, Dan, yeah, they're going to pull. They're going to pull next year when the, when the Dow is at 38,000, right? You saw it again. It doesn't, the, again, the market doesn't need to remind you who's in control. We talked about this on Sunday. Gravity is very, very real. The question is, did you get caught, right? Did you get caught? Uh, on the long side of this move after, again, we spent the whole 30 minutes uh, of the weekend video kind of kind of just saying it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Now, again, nobody's calling to Armageddon. Can we get another back test in the market tomorrow? Yeah, we could. Again, the key is there's nobody around. And, and again, it's like that old adage, um, you know, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody is around uh, to see it fall, does it make a sound, right? So does it really matter, right? Does it really matter if the market goes up, down tomorrow to end the year, it means absolutely nothing. Everybody's on vacation, okay? Everybody's on vacation. Uh, and thank you very much for all the emails I got, uh, you know, during the day and after the close. A lot of people are going to be gone tomorrow, obviously. Uh, and Wednesday, we're off. Um, Wednesday, we're off. And Thursday, and Friday. So the natural order of balance of power in the market, okay, whether it's going to be long or short, is going to be the following week. It's going to be the second week of uh, January because that's when everybody comes back from holiday, right? That's when everybody comes back. So we're not going to get a true sense of what is actually going to happen uh, for the, you know, at least the start of the year until actually everybody gets back for first quarter and second week of uh, January. So let's talk about today. Kind of a kind of a weird day, yeah. Very very aggressive. Uh, again, it looks better on paper than it was. I know some of you guys. Uh, caught some of these big moves. Uh, I, I I missed a lot today. I missed a lot. Um, I I missed a lot. I you know I caught. I, let's let's go one by one. Uh, great call by Adam. Uh, Three twenty nine on Boeing. Uh, if it builds below, it can flush. Uh, here was Boeing. Right here was Boeing. Here's the three twenty nine. Here's the three twenty nine. Went all the way down to like three twenty five and change. Uh, Facebook obviously not, never got to two, uh, 209. Avago, uh, 315, if it builds below, can flush. Here is Avago. Uh, you can see here is Avago. We talked about this last night in the video as well. Uh, 315, right? It broke below 315 and went all the way down to 12 and change. Again, not, not a huge move. Um, Amazon, you know, Amazon put up like a five, six dollar candle from the 1880 area and really did nothing else. Uh, again, crowd never got to the 8851 area. Uh, first and foremost, I want to congratulate you guys uh, that came in long puts or equity on RAD. Uh, I said pre-market there was a shot. It gets down to 1850. I did not believe it could get down to 15. Um, so a lot of you guys from the 2070s area, um, I actually got long this thing. You know, I got this long this thing on the remount, um, and my my highest sales. What the hell was my highest sales? My highest sale was like at. Um, I think 1890s. It went to like 1917 and it came back up. So, you know, quick little scalp here. And while I was trading this, I missed this. Okay, that's why I'm kind of I'm a little annoyed. Uh, I missed this. And the 426 wasn't just a trade for a dollar or two. This thing went down $15, literally on a straight line. So I missed this. So I'm a little bit annoyed. And then I started playing catch up. And this is where I just couldn't get filled on enough size. I shorted the stock, goes down like 75 cents. It comes back in, it spreads me out, then goes back up. It was, it was really, really a mess. Um, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, yeah, nice move, like a, like a $3 move, uh, 235 30 235 uh, Here is NVIDIA. We talked about that 235 30 area right here and went all the way down uh, to the 232 area. So you can see there was, there was good value. It was just very, very fast and very, very aggressive. Uh, NVIDIA, bingo, blah, blah, blah. Take some covers. Here's Avago, flush, flush, flush. Whoever took Boeing, great, great job. Um, 
I think that was it. I mean, so the, the, the big ones, everything flushed. Uh, there was, you know, there was a pivot that I put into the live webinar. I didn't put on the Twitter feed. If you guys saw me, I was actually tweeting it. Uh, big bets, big, big monster bets came in on um, the option side. I think the 275 calls on uh, Apple. Now, why was that significant? Number one, it was in the money, but there was one separate bet of like over $11 million and the other separate bet of like $34 million. So kind of note to self and everybody else, anytime you see, you know, anytime you see big, big monster, million dollar bet plus, especially in the money, on a short expiration, pay attention. Those things tend to light up uh, very, very uh, aggressively. So I know some of you guys took that 290, took that 290 20 pivot and put it higher. So I apologize for all you guys who are on the on the on the tw Twitter feed. This was just done very, very quickly uh, in the webinar. Uh, this obviously never reclaimed that 450 level. It kept on trading up to 448, 440, and never reclaimed 450 and kind of uh, sold off. And I think that's it. I think that's it. So, um, you know, I know some of you guys caught some of these things. I, I, I had a little bit of a frustrating. I just couldn't get that. I just couldn't get enough liquidity. It's just, it just very, very disappointing. When you can't get enough liquidity and they kind of bounce these things around, spread them out, it's, it's not trading. It doesn't become trading anymore. It becomes uh, how how good of a human being were you in your previous life and the market gods can save you. So it's not a game uh, that I want to play. So you have to assume tomorrow you're going to have um, a lot less volume than it was today. And if you saw today's spreads wide, like at, at what point, right? At what point, I think we talked about this today, I think it was like at 10, 15 in the morning. And I turned around and I asked, I go, when was the last time you saw Netflix trading a 30, 40, 50 cent spread, right? After 10 o'clock with 100 share lots. So you can see Amazon at one point was trading like a dollar and a half, two dollar spread. So again, it's market participation or lack thereof. Again, guys, save your chips, have a happy new year, all that good stuff. And we'll you know definitely tackle this thing on the way back. For all you psychos who are trading tomorrow, uh, let me give you guys uh, some ideas for tomorrow. Okay. Um, I like this burl, B-U-R-L. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty strong, you know, very, very strong move. Uh, in November, right? It's putting this long consolidation. If this thing could just start building above three, uh, 230, right? If this thing could start building above 230, um, I think it could go. It looks pretty good here. Um, I like the CLI, right? I like the CLI. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.